Hey guys, Antonalog here, and the Honor 8 came out a few days ago, so here are 5 things that you should know about it. Alright, so the first thing are the cameras. That's right, two cameras, not one. One of the cameras has a black and white sensor with crazy dynamic range and low light capabilities, and one of them is a regular color sensor that you find in any other smartphone. And when you combine these two images, you get some really good low light performance and also dynamic range. Here are some test shots, and you can see it does a great job. Colors are spot on, sharpness is there, and there's not too much grain. Now Honor also taunts their low aperture feature, which makes the background blurry to stimulate bokeh like a DSLR. Now sometimes it works super well, but other times it just looks totally fake and doesn't work at all. Video quality on the Honor 8 is also pretty good, but it's nothing too special. So the Honor 8 has a lot of different camera modes, but most of them are pretty useless. For example, there's a food mode that's trying to make your food pop out more from the background, and there's also a beauty mode that makes your face just look like an alien, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But aside from some funky modes, you're getting a really solid camera that can take nice pictures and video. Alright, so the next thing you need to know is that this phone is built really well. It's made of two glass slabs, one on the front and one on the back. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like an iPhone 6 and a Galaxy S7 had a baby, but that just means it's a very well designed phone. Now the materials do kind of make the phone a bit slippery, so you can pick up a deep <laughs> Ha! <Got> he! <laughs> Now I really do appreciate the glass on the back, but durability will be a concern because it's really easy to shatter, so we'll have to see how it holds up in the coming months. Alright, so also on the back is a fingerprint sensor, but it's not just any fingerprint sensor. This one is actually a button. You can press it, double press it, and also long press it to activate any app or task that you'd like to do. So right now I have it set on one tap is using the camera, two taps is turning the flashlight on, and a long hold is taking a screenshot. That's just how I like it, but again, you can program it to any app or task that you want in the settings. I've got to say it's a pretty useful feature that I didn't know I wanted until now, and I have to say I really wish a lot more phones had this feature. Alright, so let's talk performance on the Honor 8. Huawei uses its own SoC, it's the Kirin 950, that has 8 cores, 4 powerful cores, and 4 tiny cores that take very little power. So basically what all those big and little cores means is that when you need the performance, it'll be there for you, but when you don't, you'll be saving some serious battery life. Honestly, that's what I love about the Honor 8, it never stutters, it never lags, and it opens apps fast, closes them, and the best part about it is that it never gets hot. And when you're not using the phone, it sips power, and you can hold the battery life throughout the entire day. The last thing you should know about the Honor 8 is the micro SD expansion. It's pretty self-explanatory. The second SIM card slot also doubles as an SD card slot, and you can use it to expand your storage with pictures, movies, apps, anything you really want on there. It's a really useful feature, and I'm not sure why every phone doesn't have this by now, but if you want it, it's there on the Honor 8. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram for all the behind the scenes on these videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.